The Cartier Tank is one of the most iconic watches of all time. It is the go-to dress watch for many a collector, but prices have slowly risen in recent years. And although you can pick up cheaper models for around one to two thousand pounds on the secondary market, that is still a significant amount of money to spend on a watch for most people. And so I, like many others, find myself searching for affordable alternatives. In this video, we are sticking to watches that cost less than 500 pounds, euros or dollars, and including any affordable rectangular watches that could be worn instead of a tank, not just tank clones. So here are eight awesome affordable alternatives to the Cartier tank. I recently picked up this beautiful neo-vintage Tissot Heritage Z173, a 1930s Art Deco style tank watch from the 1990s. It is faithful to its vintage origins with a case size of 36mm by 22mm and a thickness of around 8mm. At first glance the dial looks like a simple two-tone sector dial, but upon closer inspection you can see there is a lot more going on. It is possibly the classiest watch I own, and it is quartz, but it looks amazing and cost me less than £100. I think I got a real bargain, so you might have to pay a bit more, but it's worth it. One downside is the lug width is 19mm though, so finding replacement straps can be a little harder than normal. If you're not sold on this one though, you can also try the Z150 Lisboa or the Z181 Banana from the same era which are similar, but different. It wouldn't be an affordable watch video without mentioning Seiko. The SWR052P1 is one of the most blatant Cartier tank ripoffs you are ever likely to see, with its cabochon crown, Roman numeral dial, and inner railroad mini track. It measures 44mm by 29mm, with a thickness of 6mm, this particular version is gold plated, but there's also a stainless steel version, the SWR049P1, or a gold plated version with a gold dial and battered hour markers, the SWR064P1. Expect to pay something in the region of £150 to £200. If you have a smaller wrist, there are ladies' versions which look similar, and if you want something more unusual and unique, Check out the vintage Seiko Dolce collection, which contains many rectangular watches with all sorts of quirky and interesting dial designs. The Cambridge is Rotary's current line of rectangular watches, a brand that is a mainstay of the British High Street. There are lots of different dial options, but this one with the silver dial and the blue Arabic numerals is my particular favourite. You can pick these up for around 150 to 200 pounds. There is a downside and that is with the case size of 42 mm by 28.5 mm, it's not going to fit the smallest wrists well. If you're an eBay hawk like me, check out the Rotary Revelation, which is Rotary's answer to the JLC Reverso. Rotary doesn't make these versions anymore, you can still get round versions but you can pick these up on the secondary market easily enough. Accurist is another stalwart of the British watch market. The brand will win no awards for the naming of its aptly monikered rectangle watch, but as far as classic dress watches go, this one can certainly do the job. It is technically a ladies watch, but with a case size of 34mm by 26mm, it will work on a man's wrist provided you like small watches. There are loads of dial and case variants and strap options and the cheapest ones are sold at a recommended retail price of £179. If you prefer larger watches, the discontinued 7412 is somewhat similar though a little bit harder to come by. The Herbalon Art Deco is a watch you won't hear about very often, but it is a bit of a stunner. The case shape is reminiscent of the JLC Reverso, which is probably why it is so attractive. But 32.2mm by 26.5mm, it is small, but then 
tank star watches are supposed to be small. It costs £340, brand new. There is another version with a small seconds subdial, which is slightly more expensive, but I prefer the simplicity of the standard version anyway. Yes, a lot of Herbalon's watches are um, inspired by other famous watches, but it does still sell a lot of attractive models. It just doesn't have that brand prestige. Vario is a micro brand out of Singapore that has built quite the reputation for making affordable and interesting, if somewhat derivative, vintage inspired watches, and the Versa is no exception. As the name hints at, the Versa is a reversible watch, and it is essentially two watches in one. It has two dials and two quartz movements. This means the watch is a little thicker than most dress watches at 12mm but with a case size of 39mm by 26mm, it will wear well for most people, except for those of us with the smallest wrists. There are currently five different variants, with more on the way, I believe, and all of them have beautiful enamel dials, sapphire crystals, and gorgeous vegetable tanned leather straps. At £360, they are a little more pricey than most watches on this list but there aren't many companies producing good looking reversible watches these days. This is the Casio LTP-1234, a watch I bought but gave away as I thought it was too small. I think I regret that now. The MTP-1234 is the men's version and it's a line of simple rectangular dress watches with a range of dial and strap options. It looks pretty much the same as this one, but it's larger. You can expect to pay around £50 for these watches. Don't be under any illusions that these are amazing value propositions. Instead, they are decent, reliable watches at fair prices. If you have tiny wrists like me, the ladies version may well be the better option. The LTP-V007 is another option for the tiny wristed amongst us. If only it was slightly bigger, it would be almost perfect. And lastly, if you are totally cash strapped and can't afford any of the other options on this list, this Sander Tank style watch may be the watch for you. It is incredibly cheap on AliExpress and it isn't without its flaws, of course. The spacing of the Roman numerals on the dial is a bit weird. The strap and the clasp are flimsy, and the cabochon crown is a simple piece of coloured plastic. But it's so cheap, and it looks the part. It certainly won't last forever, but it's cheap. What do you expect? So there we go, eight affordable, awesome alternatives to the Cartier tank. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you buy and wear any of these watches? Can you think of any that I've missed and should have included? That's all I've got time for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.